for a third day on Wednesday, and now that was down 1.5%. How are we faring today? Yeah, the market closed down today as well. It reduced by 0.67%. And you said earlier on that the market dropped by one4 yesterday. And then if you compare the number of losers to gainers to yesterday, about 87 stocks lost in price yesterday, today, while 55 lost yesterday, while only 36 gained today, compared to about 29 yesterday. Mm. But overall, if you compare the, comparis the, the performance, you'd say the market seems to be improving. And then in terms of volume traded as well, the market volume traded reduced today to about 2.1 billion naira compared to about 8.7 billion naira yesterday. But I think what's worthy to note is that UBA volume traded in UBA was about 7.1 billion yesterday. And so if you take that out, I think about 1.6 billion was traded yesterday compared to about 2.1 today. So in terms of turnover, you'd say performance obviously increased, improved today compared to yesterday. Mm. Now, one of the indicators, of course, you look in a market when you're trying to see whether the market is improving or not, is uh, your, the, the number of shares that are available for trade. Have we seen a trend where we're getting more volumes being available for trading and perhaps uh, indicating uh, investors are coming back into the market? In terms of volumes being available for trade, I would say there are actually volumes available, but I think what, what's been happening is that a number of investors that have been investing in the stock market right now have actually been investing for the long term because we've actually seen a wide range of foreign investors coming to the market and also institutional investors as well who have more of a long term view of the market. So a number of them have actually been coming in and taking up these stocks off the shelf. So it's, once they take it up, you actually won't expect to see such volumes available again. But I think overall, if you compare what have compared the market performance in terms of volumes to the beginning of the year, mm. volumes seems to have improved significantly. Indeed, along with rising uh, confidence amongst investors. Now, have we seen the last of yes. those uh, uh, shares that have been uh, overhanging the stock of UBA? Sorry, sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, the stock overhang over UBA, have we seen the last of those shares now being traded? Are those now out of the way such that now perhaps when we look at the share price of UBA, we're looking at actual demand? and supply of that stock? Yes, like today, for example, I think about 80,000 shares of UBA was traded, 80, yeah, 80,000 compared to about 80, 80 million, I mean, sorry, mm, compared mm. to the 7.1 billion traded yesterday. So they've actually been that change right now. I think what happened yesterday would have been more of a cross between some institutional investors are not the regular trades I would see on a, reg on a regular basis. And I think that's not the only kind of cross deals we've seen. I think a few weeks ago, there was also a cross in U UACN as well. Mm. So, so how do you then read this market, Moyewa, given now we are Thursday today and we just have one more day to go before uh, the week ends. Where do you see this market going next week? I think for this week, really, I would say expect the bearish trend to continue because if you look at what's happened, I think today, for example, just seven banks appreciated in price while the other banks reduced. And I think one major reason why that happened was over the last three weeks, there's actually been a significant increase in their share prices. A number of them have gained over 20 to close to about 30 percent in terms of price appreciation. So we've actually seen that profit taking mm -hmm. happening and we expect that to continue tomorrow as well, even though I won't, I would, I won't say that the bearish trend would continue into next week, but I'd expect it to continue tomorrow as well. Mm. Mio, when uh, the new central bank governor came in, he said he wasn't averse to a foreigner coming in and taking over a Nigerian foreign bank, sorry, Nigerian bank, and uh, there was quite excitement that perhaps we could now see the second round of consolidation in the Nigerian uh, uh, banking market. Have we seen any signs that this is likely to happen, and uh, even within Nigeria itself? Yes, we, you know, yeah, I agree with you. There's actually been that increase in interest in Nigerian banks. But I think one major, what, what we should note really is that most investors are actually being, we are actually being careful right now because that, they obviously want to see the quality of the assets of the banks that would be acquired. So I think right now we actually would see more of a cautious trend in acquisition. We actually wouldn't expect a wind of, a, of consolidation that happened last year, would actually, um, last in 2006 and in 2005, we actually see a 
more cautious approach to acquisitions. And there's also there's already been a strategic partnership between ETI and Rand Bank, and we also expect more of that to continue. And even some Nigerian banks trying to get into partnership with a few Chinese banks, like the partnership between Standard Bank and HCBC. Indeed.